You know it's great for anxiety? Stalkers. Today I'm reviewing the Nature Republic avocado mask. So we're gonna talk about canary tokens. These are sort of like a really good way to figure out how hackable you are. This is like an STD, once you get it on, it's like you never get rid of it. I'm also gonna review this Choosy Honey Glee. You might be familiar or not with web bugs or like transparent images and these sort of things that you can put into emails to basically track when someone's opened it. You probably don't care about any of that stuff, which is cool, I don't either. But network breaches happen all the time. Corpse to your grandma to like your coworkers. This kind of looks like I've been kidnapped. We were on brand. So canary tokens are kind of a quick and painless way for people to discover if they've been breached. Kind of like, think of a canary token like a doorbell. A door that opens that has one of those bells on the back. Basically like the TLDR on how these things work is that if someone visits a site, they get a token. If the attacker ever uses it though, you basically get like an SMS or an email. There's some really easy like ways to obtain tokens. I found after, I think it was like a DEF CON talk, which is just this like euphemism for a hacking conference where it's basically all white dudes um, hanging out in basements um, that aren't their moms. Once I take this mask off, it's over for you bitches. I'm gonna put this website down below. And um, you can enter a comment which describes like basically the token you're gonna use. But you're gonna have a lot of tokens over time so you wanna be specific. My husband's bank account numbers slash his girlfriend's in Miami. Um, you can then generate the token and just drop it over to be stumbled. You can even send yourself an email with the token link in it plus some sort of text to lure them in like nude pics. Uh, titties, whatever it is that you think will get the person interested. Dick pics. I'm also gonna attach like a URL below of a blog post that explains it really well and the URL to start generating them. I'm also accepting Venmo and PayPal payments from any arms dealers or drug slash opiate distributors who have now been banned from the Met or any other museum or collection. I will gladly make use of it for the people who are not willing to accept it.